Hutches, I um I spoke with uh, the animal control commissioner, Ms. Tiffany Hutchinson, and she said I could submit video evidence. Okay. I have for both of my uh, complaints, my affidavits of complaint. I mentioned in them that I have video evidence, so may I submit that now? Mm -hmm. um, you'll just need to swipe to the left to watch. Both. You want to tell us you? Sorry. You want to put that in context before we see this? So I don't think you need it. They're oh. roaming at large, okay. uncollared, unleashed. Oh, right. You've been through enough today. <laughs> what what is what what are we looking at? Roaming. The charge is roaming. <laughs> okay. So they're oh. right now they're in the lane. We live off of a highway. It's a shared lane. They um, enter my driveway at the end of that video. The subsequent video shows them in my driveway also. They look like a turnaround to me. Well, what That's it? a turnabout and then the right now they're in the turnabout probably of the first video. That video is the oh, September fourteenth video. So my dog bananas. Swipe it to the left. Yeah, they drive my dog bananas. <laughs> you want to show the defendant also. Sure. Show, show he and then that, Story for the, okay, okay this one is from the, you oh, and that you can, absolutely. Me. This is September, uh, yeah, September, sorry, September 14th, and it's date stamped when you touch it. That's my, my backyard, my front yard. So again, you can works. see, this is, they're on the road, sir. Everyone, right? Cement, not property. Um, and then at the end of the video, they come into my driveway. I'm, I'm uh, in my second level of my house. So, I also have the video. I have uh, screenshots of the of his property. This is not a. This is not his front yard. This is obviously the road and the turnabout, right? I don't, right. I don't have anything else to add to that. <laughs> um, we only saw the one video, so right. So this is the only one I'm showing you is the first video. Okay. So this is county property, right? That's a retention flood prevention zone. That's what that fencing is. And now they're entering my yard, and they're entering my driveway. Okay. It's a, <coughs> it's a fewer than a minute video. So. Sure. <laughs> Do you want me to show them the fast? Uh, I think. Has it been one occasion? How many? Months months of them of them roaming my yard we didn't speak to him my husband spoke to him on can you hand him this letter for my daughter my daughter's ghost so no doubt they're pull they're friendly dogs <coughs> when my husband just talked about this problem december 8th before this video was taken he said that they're small dogs so they don't pose a threat to my children completely agree i have a dog also um they don't pose a threat to my dog i have a big dog but they're entering my property, they're roaming, so that's kind of inconsequential, and they also leave their excrement on my property. I'm not, I'm not finding him for that. I'm not finding him per dog. I'm just finding him for, for one dog per incident. I have video evidence of both incidents, so I feel like it's obvious that they're roaming, and we can be done. You can watch the next video now, if you care to. Here's them. I'm at my daughter's school bus stop. You can see the entire lane in this video, and they're completely in my driveway. My garage door is open. They enter my garage. They enter. They go on my porch. Okay, they're always in my property. Anything. Where are they? That one's a shorter video, so you can watch it pretty fast. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. That's my daughter. And you can hear how busy our highway is. It's Defense Highway, so it's not safe for them to be roaming off leash. And they've been doing it for months, months and months since last summer is when I have. I have, all, I have some email correspondence, but I don't think it's necessary to see, just to show the uh, dates are valid for my complaints as well. But these are timestamps, so I feel like that's sufficient evidence. Okay. I'm comfortable with that. Go ahead. Thank you, thank you. All right, Mr. Martin. Uh, uh, really, I'm. I was surprised. From them, when we moved in December uh, 2014, I didn't even know their names, or they didn't even know my name. Uh, they're never been friendly with us. If you read my daughter's uh, letters, and it's really crazy. You are here, my dog, or actually my daughter's dog, is like this big, 
two pound, one of them two pound, and the other one is like three pound. And uh, if the gun cross to them, maybe once it's not a big deal, they should at least knock the door, but no. They don't want to really talk to us or even acknowledge our <coughs> existence in our neighbor. Every time we say hi to them, they just ignore us. Every time we try to talk to them, they never talk to us. And she's saying here, she sent us email. I, I never e received any email from them. I wish she has a, that email with her, but it's all just, they just harassing us. To, they want us to move from the neighbor. That's what it is. You can read my daughter letters. How come these little dogs are out running around? It, you see, my kids, sometimes they take them out. Sometimes I take them out. And actually, these dogs, they, they're not even 100% with us. They're, they're my daughter dogs. And she has a boyfriend. She always takes these two <coughs> little lab dogs with her everywhere she goes. And if this happened, what she said, it could be one time. But I wish she could knock the door or say, hey, <coughs> your dog is out there. I could make sure my dogs wouldn't be outside. But the thing is, they think they're better than us. They don't want to talk to us at all. We don't know them. They don't know us. I mean, it, it, we've been there for four years, and they never say hi or hello to us. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. And you read my daughter. My daughter feels the same way from them. It's nothing to do about these two little dogs. It's, it's us. It's personal. They just hate us for some reason. I don't know why. And like I said, these two dogs, they're not in the house 100%. My daughter always takes them. They're lab dogs. She carries them everywhere she goes. I mean, if this happened, really, like, it, it, I, I don't know. It, could one of my son take them out without leash? Or I, I have no idea. But I wish they just tell us. But no, they take video and make sure we make mistakes so they can uh, complain about us. It's it just, when, when I use in uh, different neighbors, uh, our neighbors, they used to have little dogs. I, when I see them outside, I carry them and knock the door. I said, your little dog is outside. But you just don't just go and, and she has all the time went twice and find uh, a notary and fill up the paper and sign it and send it. I can't believe, I don't have time for this really. I mean, I wouldn't do this to my neighbor, especially for little tiny dogs. Mr. And Martin, <laughs> we do have a leash law. Yeah, I understand, dogs. they're in the leash. I have, I have my daughter always takes them in the leash. Her uh, picture shows they weren't. We do have a leash law, sir, and you have to follow that. And not every neighbor is going to be friendly with one another. We're, it's, I agree with you, Anna. Uh, uh, they're just not, it's not going to work. I agree. I, I, I don't, you know, I can't say it would be <coughs> that they wouldn't like you. <coughs> it's not her job to take care of your dogs. I agree with you. It's not but her job at least to come over and pick up your little dog and bring him back and say, whose little dog is this? That's your job. That's yeah. your daughter's job. Here's my daughter. I have him in the leash. It's like four pounds. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't tell us anything. I mean, she, <laughs> has, she has video proof on two occasions of the dogs being off the leash. <clears throat> The leash law doesn't apply based on size or weight of the dog. She's notarized her documents because that's the right thing to do. So, it's the law. It's the process in the law. Exactly. Um, so if I may, I, we have no. I'm so sorry that you would, Mr. Martin, that you would feel that we have anything against you. We certainly do not. Um, it's been a problem that these dogs wander. We've there's been um, a woman who who picked the dogs up off of the highway when they were out, and they knocked on your door and returned them to you. And I was there with my kids on their scooters, and we witnessed this. It's a danger to the dogs. Our neighbor, our mutual neighbor Janice, who I, I didn't put her through the getting the her complaint notarized because video evidence is video evidence. So, but she also is just like those dogs come into my yard and it's annoying. But she pays for a cleanup service to clean up the dog excrement. I don't pay for a service. So I'm the one cleaning up all of the dog mess. 
So no, and I'm, I'm so sorry that you would think that we have any hostility towards you. I, I can guarantee you that we do not. not none of the neighbors do. Everyone, uh, we're all fine. We're busy, and we're sorry if we don't appear friendly, but we uh, wish you nothing but the best. And you may go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't read the letter purposely because everything that everyone has said here is absolutely true. They don't have to be your friend. It's property. Bless you. Okay. Bless you. And it's up to you to take care of your property. Uh, it's, the size doesn't matter. Breed doesn't matter. The dog outside has to be on a leash. The pictures you showed us before regarding uh, your daughter having the dog on a leash, that was yesterday we're talking about. That was another time. It wasn't this time. It's, 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 it's life. And this problem is as far as I'm concerned, is easily rectifiable. And it's just a matter of when your dog goes outside, the dog should stay in your yard, or if it's being walked on a leash children with your children. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a neighborly thing to do. We, we don't live in a perfect world, Right. okay? Levy, I understand what you say, okay. and I agree with you. How many dogs animal control pick from the street every day? Because <coughs> dogs can leave the house without their owner by mistake. Dogs could lose from the leash. It doesn't matter every time one dog uh, lose, people just take picture and video and complain. Right. Well, they can't, I mean, uh, they can't come here. I understand. You I were here. You were here for the previous case. You can't tell us something and not provide us information so uh, proof that so she took pictures to show proof other than that uh, she wouldn't really have a case so to speak it's up to her to prove that she's right and in your case you yeah I agree with you lady but okay. is this every day my dogs every day I don't think so no. I mean it could be out for one time one time and okay. because they're feeling against us he took the picture and the video because he just tried to find any way to hurt us. That's what he did. Why do you feel that way? Because they never talked to us. They never. They, every time we say hello, forget that. They ignore you, us. Don't, you, you, you get you you uh, wasting your she, life she, away, she's sir. He's asking. He's, he's against. Anna is just asking me okay. why. So I was telling Anna why 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 we feel this way. She, you know, sometimes. I've, also, I've spoken to your son, Joseph. I've made conversations yes, with him and Kirsten. Mm -hmm. I don't know where your perception's coming from. And again, I, I, I would like to remedy this. Your dogs, numerous times, you don't deny that my husband spoke with you in person. He knocked on your door September 8th because I have the email he sent to me about how he's doing that. Um, he cited all the articles because Ryan, we're both engineers. We just are analytical and we keep documents. And so he, he presented you with the consequences of letting the dogs roam. You said, you were very dismissive, you said that because they're small dogs, they're not posing a threat to our kids, and we get that, that we completely agree, but they're roaming at large, and that's against the Her way. husband never talked to us. He never knocked the door. He never even said hi to me. He didn't even look at me. I mean, I don't know, she's making up stories. Well, once again, we're back to, to this. Yeah. We have video evidence that this is what I'm occurred, saying. And that's what we're, we'll, this this video evidence, it means nothing to me because it's, it could happen only one time or twice. It doesn't mean I should be citation for some neighbors that don't want us in the neighbor. That's not fair. Well, that's how I look at it. Well, that's not... That's not how I would look at it because if, if I was looking out the window and saw those two dogs roaming and it was the first and only time, I'd rush out there, grab those dogs and get them back to you with a figure and somebody left the gate open or something. But the fact that she needs to film this and says it happens on numerous occasions tells me it is happening on numerous occasions. And this should be a wake-up call to you. I agree with you. And like I said, these dogs are not even 100% in our house. My daughter has them everywhere she goes. Whenever they come in the house, Sometimes I take them out with the leash. Sometimes my kids took them out. It could be this two occasions or one time. I, I'm not sure how many times it could happen. But it doesn't mean I have to get a, a citation for something. It could happen to any one of you. Right. <laughs> well, once again, if it happened to any one of us, then anyone in this county <coughs> has the right to write us a citation. That's just, that's how it is. So well, how it is, I'm going to sit in my window. As soon as I see her dog out, I'm just going to video and do citation. That's, I mean, how, 
it's I just, I don't know. <laughs> I also want to make it clear that like the one of the videos, it's at my daughter's school bus stop. I'm not watching your home maliciously hoping you fail or anything. I, I really, it's not, it's not that severe. I have a very full life. I'm not trying to hurt yours at all. I wish you the best. And you're from Italy, right? I'm Italian. Solidarity. I don't know. <laughs> like, I have nothing against you. Our neighbor Janice, our mutual neighbor, she tried to talk with you too about this. We just, we just want you we to handle the dog. We, okay. All right. We recognize that this can be um, very emotional and have other, you know, history and some perceptions or misperceptions. Um, right. So. But we, we are here about an incident. We had to kind of get rid of all of those things and we boil it down to on this day, did was the was there a violation of the code of the law? Right. That's what we have to do. And we hope that you are able to work things out amongst your neighbors Same. and everybody and goes and heals. Maybe this could help, but our job is to look at what we have before us and that is um, the citation for 10-26-2018. Uh, and Elizabeth, nine. I agree with you. Like I said, it doesn't mean because it happened only one time, it doesn't mean it happened every day or okay. all the time. Okay, we're here there are about two, these two dogs, if you see them, they're too little, tiny. There's no way we could leave them outside. I mean, there's no way. But they were outside at the, large on yes. the day of this. Uh, but if, if it, they were out, it could be by mistake, it could be my, one of my kids left them sure. and didn't pay attention to them. Sure. It happened every day. It, it, it does happen, and regardless, it did happen. That's where we are. Um, which, do you guys, any other testimony that we need to hear? No. Questions? Are we ready to deliberate? I think so. Okay. We're close to public participation. Okay. I guess my concern here is that his defense has not been, hey, somebody left the gate open or my kids let him out accidentally. I mean, it was, it was, yeah, it happened one time. This is your defense. When in fact, she's got two videos. So that doesn't count. So yeah, it yeah. sounds like you're letting we're your dogs out without a leash. Uh, Larry, so, wait, wait, wait. he kind of just. We're closed. We're closed for, for any other. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, so. we can't, yeah. Well, we can talk and um, discuss it. Can yeah, no, I agree with Larry. Um, Wholeheartedly, I think that that's the that's the thing here is that it's, this has obviously happened. We've seen multiple videos. I mean, that I think she's right. She could have come at this a little more strongly than she did, and she didn't do it that way. So yeah. I don't see any. Mm -hmm. Pretty cut is it just the one? Um, What's well, one citation it's per a dog? One citation just per one. dog. No, I'm sorry. There are two citations. Yeah. Oh, sorry. One dog. Only. One. Yeah. I'm not doing it per dog. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. one dog. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I. Sorry. Oh, um, oh, I only have one. And, uh, well, there were two yes, trial. Yeah, but only one citation. Only one citation yes. Because there's only one dog. Okay, right. Oh, that's yeah, there's only oh, sure. just one. For so both of them are seemingly tackled on white with dark patches. And if there's already one affidavit filed, it's considered supporting evidence. If it's the Support. same dog, oh. same violation. That's what I thought. Okay. If it had been a different dog, same violation. Right. right. So there's two affidavits, one citation. Gotcha. Got it. That's what I thought. Okay. Good. Um, that's clear. Okay. Um, so really, technically, it could have been two. Could have been right. four. It could have been right. And it could have right. been at large and X and That's true. Yep. That's true. That's so true. So this is, this is pretty much a break, really. Yeah. It could have been a lot more, even just one time. Kind of yeah, I'm just trying to think about what's fair. Like, this is kind of a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. An opportunity. Yeah, an yep. opportunity to try to um, just be more aware. Yeah. You know, it wasn't taking, you know, it's happened more than once. Yep. Accidents so, happen to all of us, I know, and they're not bad dogs, and they're little and sweet, and they're not causing any harm, but they do have to be... Contained. Contained, yes. <coughs> I make a motion we uphold the citation. I second that motion. All in favor? Citation upheld. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Good luck. Thank you.